好，二零二三年第三十六条 M C 啦，就系讲身体防卫嘅。今次咧就研究紧一个传染病阿 P 啊。咁而家有个人咧就成功咁接种咗去对抗呢个传染病 P 嘅疫苗噶啦。咁而家下面啊四幅图啦，边幅图系能够表现得到？当呢个人咧真系俾呢只疾病 P 嘅病原体入侵、哦，喂，真系打到嚟啦！咁究竟呢个人身体入面嘅抗体水平变化系如何咧？咁呢个题目啦，就考两样嘢嘅啫。第一啦，就系、是、接种疫苗嘅原理啦。第二啦，就系、是、我哋分唔分得清初次反应同埋再次反应咯。咁啊，基本原理啦，提翻大家先啦。接种疫苗咧，就系、是、利用翻特异性嘅防卫机制嘅专一性同埋免疫基因，去提高翻身体对抗疾病嘅能力嘅。疫苗啦，就含有抗原啦。抗原就能夠刺激到身體產生初次嘅反應，日後啦，當相同嘅病原體再次入侵身體嘅時候，即係好似而家咁樣啦，身體就會產生再次反應，從而啦就提升身體嘅免疫性啦。咁所以啦，我哋就要識得比較咯，初次反應、再次反應，潛伏期長啲定係短啲啊？產生嘅抗體同埋殺手 T 細胞多啲定係少啲啊？呢、这个抗体同埋杀手 T 细胞，佢所能够维持到嘅时间系短啲定系长啲啊？咁而家我哋嚟做一击破咯。A 呢，佢就讲啦，哇，一有呢个病原体入侵呢，你嗰个抗体水平就叭叭声直线上升嘅，冇潜伏期噶吓、啊，完全潜伏期一啲都冇。喂，潜伏期虽然喺再次反应系短啫，但系都唔系咁即时啩。所以啦 ，A 呢系错。实质呢个战嘴都唔系病原体嘅入侵，应该系乜嘢？直头就系打针啊！打啲咩俾你啊？直接打啲抗体咯！你谂下，你咪就系直接一打啲抗体入去，嘣，抗体水平咪上升咯，咪就系咁解啫嘛，系咪？咁 A 自不然就唔系呢个情况啦。跟住要到 B 咯，嗱，病原体咧就入侵咗啦，然后啦要啲时间嘅，跟住啦就升啦。跟住就跌啦，吓、啊、喂，升又唔系话升得零舍多，维持嘅时间又唔系零舍长，呢、这个情况唔系咁似再次反应、哦，佢似乜嘢咧？其实佢系似咧，真系打疫苗嘅第一针，系第一针啫，又或者啦，你系第一次中咗招，然后好翻。嗱，當然啦，因為今次呢個情況，呢、这個人咧係冇中過招噶嘛，唔成，所以咧都似係疫苗嘅第一針嚟嘅。但係問題而家呢幅圖，佢講到明啦嘛，喂，呢、这個人咧係接種咗疫苗噶啦，即係發生咗初次反應噶啦。佢再次見到呢只病菌咧，你應該反身嘅係再次反應嚟噶，邊有低得咁離譜噶，短得咁離譜嘅咩啲時間？所以 B 咧又錯，跟住啦，講埋 D 先。D 呢，你见得到啦，哇！本身又潜伏期，跟住咧又升少少，又跌返，又升返。喂，呢幅图啊，咪就係正正平时本书教你接种疫苗囉。呢、这个箭嘴唔係病原体入侵，呢、这个箭嘴係第一针，打完第一针引发初次反应，潜伏期长少少，所能够产生嘅抗体个水平唔会高得去边，维持嘅时间短，话咁快跌返。然后啦，再打第二针。哇！即刻冚冚聲發生再次反應，生產得零舍多嘅抗體，佢能夠維持嘅時間亦都零舍長一啲。咁所以 D 呢幅圖咧，係形容緊呢個人咧進行嗰個疫苗接種嘅過程嚟噶。所以 D 咧都錯。咁答案自不然就係 C 啦。點解啊？咁啊，因為啦，我已經接種咗疫苗啦嘛，我已經有咗初次嘅反應。而而家啦，我真係俾呢只病原體入侵。潜伏期短咗好多，我一嘢就即刻爆升到，整咗好多抗体出嚟啦。而维持嘅时间呢，亦都系较为长、哦。咁所以 C 呢，就系、是、我哋嘅答案咯。咁大家睇翻啦，其实无论长题定 M C 呢，都系有问过免疫力啊、接种疫苗啊呢类型嘅概念噶。咁啊，快快手睇下片，问阿苏啦噃。Two two three M C question thirty six is about the body defense mechanism. And this time is about the vaccination. So a person is successfully vaccinated against the infectious disease P. So which of the following graph correctly show the change in the antibody level of this person when he is invaded by the pathogens of disease P? 
So for this question, it's checking us two concepts. First is the principle of the vaccination. Secondly, we need to distinguish the primary immune response from the secondary immune response. So what about the latent period? What about the amount of the antibodies and the killer T cell produced? Mainly, we focus on the antibodies this time. And how long for the antibodies and the killer T cell last for? So let's recall the principle of the vaccination. Vaccination make use of the specificity and the immunological memory of the specific defense mechanism to develop an enhanced immunity in the body. Remember, enhanced immunity. And then the vaccine contains the antigen which stimulate the primary response in the body. Any subsequent invasion by the same antigen will produce a secondary response, giving an enhanced immunity to the disease. So let's take a look at the answer one by one. Option A, it says that all invasion of the pathogen and then the antibody level will immediately increase. Wow, so amazing. What about the latent period? What we learn is that in the secondary response, the latent period should be just shorter. We never say that it's an immediate event. So you see that it's just so immediate, right? Therefore, somehow for this arrow, it is not the invasion of the pathogen. It's exactly the injection of the antibody. Therefore, there will be an immediate increase of the antibody level. Therefore, option A, wrong. It doesn't show the secondary response phenomenon. And then for option B, or uh, invasion of the pathogen, and then oh, we see the latent period, and then the antibody level increase, and then uh, it drops so quickly. Oh, it drops a very short time. Oh. So that's why it doesn't fit the last longer phenomenon, right? So for graph B, it should be the vaccination, especially for the first dose. Or it's the first exposure, then we cover. However, it's still not the case for the first exposure, then we cover. Because in this question, it's just saying that a person is successfully vaccinated against the infectious disease P. So it implies that he should not uh, be infected by this uh, pathogen before. So. It should be the first dose of the vaccination. So it is the primary immune response. So option B, also wrong. And then I would like to talk about option D first. Option D, why? Wow, you can see that it is exactly the same uh, graph of the vaccination in the book, right? Or oh, for the first dose. First dose, longer latent period. And then the antibody produced not that large amount, it's just small amount. And then it lasts for a shorter period of time. It drops, you know? And then second dose. And then why? Wow, shorter latent period. And then the antibody produced in a large amount in a short period of time. And then it also lasts for a longer time. So actually, for the option D, it's just representing the vaccination program, right? For the first dose and the second dose. So finally, the answer is C. After the vaccination, primary response, first dose, and then second dose for the secondary response, and now, really, the invasion of the pathogens. So it's still the secondary immune response. So we can see that invasion, shorter the latent period, the antibody level, wow, very high, large amounts of antibody are produced in a short period of time. And then the high level of the antibody, it lasts for a longer time. So option C is our answer. And you can find that there are not only MC, but also long question about the immunity, vaccination. So watch the video for the revision.